Hey there and welcome to another coding tutorial. So today I want to show you how to do a simple plugin that just sends the player a message when he executes a command. So it's just something very simple, but you always got to start somewhere, right? Okay, so here's the project that we set up last time. If you don't know how to set up a project so that you can start coding your own plugin, just check out my last video. Okay. So now we want to create another package uh, and we will call it gifty.tutorial. So again, that's the author name, the plugin name, and then we can have our package name. So I will just call it um, hello command. All right, so inside the hello command package, we want to create a new class and let's call it hello command. So, uh, this class should implement, I can type today, the command executor from bucket. Okay, so you can see there's already something missing there, but let's not worry about that for now. For now we want to have a constructor for that class, so uh, we have public hello command and we want to have a reference to our main class and we will call it plugin and then we will have plugin get command this is going to be the command uh, you type in game so let's just call it hello and we will set the executor at this as this class okay now we will have a public boolean um we will call it on command. This is just a standard. Uh, whoops. This is just a standard method for when a command is entered in game. Um, whoops. And we want to have the kind of false here. Okay. Uh, what does it say here? So the map is not for No, it won't. Um, okay, so in our main class, we now want to have on enable. So when the plugin is enabled, we want to say new hello command this. Okay. Um, so now. When our command is called, we first want to say uh, if the sender is not instance of player. So what this means, we check if the sender is an instance of, of a player. So if the sender is a player and if he is not a sender, then we will just say sender send message player only so basically it just prevents and also return so it doesn't go far into the code uh, so this just prevents like the console from entering this command okay now that we verified that the sender is indeed a player we can say player p equals sender with a cast to player because the sender can be multiple things so the sender can be console or a player and we now know that the sender is indeed a player so we can cast to player because we are 100 percent sure that it is a player and we basically convert the sender into a player simply speaking okay and now we want to just say p dot send message um, let's just say hello there. All right. And let's just say it's true. Okay. And now in our plugin.yml, we want to have another section called commands. And we will just call it, uh, let me already stop that. Uh, we will just call it, uh, wait, what did we call it? I think we called it hello. Yep. So we will call it 
hello you can have aliases so other uh, commands that you can type to get the same result so I would just uh, use the hi and the hi aliases and you can set a description so you can say uh, hello command okay so if we build this then we should see it uh, and artifacts tutorial. So we put that in our plugins folder, start up the server, and then we just wait. Oh, okay. Come on. And yes, it by the way is past 12 o'clock, I'm sorry. Okay, so we can see that if we type slash plugins, then our tutorial plugin is daring in. And if we do slash hello, then it says hello there. We can also do slash hi or slash hi. And it all has the same result. So yeah, if we were to try the same thing in the console, then it just reminds us that's the player only command, so we can't access this command from the console. Alrighty, so that's it for today, guys. I hope you understood everything. If you have any questions, then just ask down below in the comments. And I will see you next time. See ya.